Hello, Elena. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine, fine. Thank you for asking. I, I see you quite comfortable tonight. Yeah, I, I'm comfortable, actually. <laughs> so tell me, how was your day? Well, my day. Um, mm, well, I woke up and I felt in the morning, I felt a little pain in my neck, in my shoulder, my back. So I don't know why, but I get up and did, did, sorry, did all my routine to get ready to go to work. So I was about to get in my car and you know yes. what? Tell I me. saw an ugly and long scratch on the door. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. Do you live yeah, in the I, I, I felt very sad because you know, it's my car. <laughs> Yeah, I know what you mean. You live it in the yeah. street. Yeah. I don't know where or when it it could have happened, but I can do nothing. Just Yeah, I know, I know. So yeah. My my day start a little weird. A little bit bad. Yeah, but well, then I get in the car and go to work. And apart from that, I think that it was a regular day, a regular routine. Did all, I did all the, the, the stuff that I always did in the morning and in the, in the after, afternoon, sorry. Yes. Yes, but the rest of the day was, was was nice and I think that was nice and productive today at the office just for that thing that the pain in my neck that it's I still have it a little bit and well the thing, you need to be careful remember not to get over stress that's that's not good yeah my dad my dad told me that maybe that maybe I I I stressed but I took uh, I took paracetamol. Yeah. And I I felt a, a little a, a leave a leave. Is that right? No. Relieve. 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 Oh, thank you. Yeah, but that was my day. Okay. Well. And what oh, about you? Oh, you have had a, me. Oh, my day. You know, my day is not as interesting as yours. Because, let's see, what did I do today? Well, got up, go to work, come back from working. Oh, I went to the bank, to the supermarket. And that's like boring for me. Uh, you don't like to do supermarket? Not really, not really. I mean, it takes time and I'm just pushing the cart all around, you know? <laughs> and it gets kind of boring. Really? Yeah, well, the good thing is this, that the supermarket was not crowded. I hate it when it's crowded. Yeah. Standing on long lines, it's like terrible. And this is me off. Really. Yeah. And you know, one of the problems I got is that I don't really like crowds. When there's a lot of people, that gets me stressed. Crowds is it's like yeah, a lot of people. A lot of okay, okay. When it gets crowded. Crowded. Ah, okay. Yeah, when it gets crowded, you know, uh, it stresses me out. That's why I, I really, really, really run away from uh, what you call them, uh, the malls during, for Christmas. I hate oh, them. no. No, no, no. Christmas shoppings have must, must to do it before 
uh, uh, the the days. I don't know how to say the. Yeah, but yeah, the, but still, you know, even if even if you go like a, a little bit before, I mean, like what two weeks before, the malls are crowded. They are packed. There's a lot of people, and that's something that I don't really like. Yeah. Maybe, for example, in my case, I bought the if 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 I I do that. I bought the gift for my family, for example, in November, maybe October, with time. But the all the stuff to prepare a Christmas Eve dinner, yeah, that things uh, actually yeah, uh, have to to be. I don't know how to say. Tendrían que ser como compradas. Must be bought. Must be bought. Uh, maybe a week or. or Three two days before the big day. Oh really? So, I mean, most of the stuff you buy it before. Yeah. Yeah, you know, but that's actually that's actually good. Yeah, you know, I'm not that good uh, for for presents for Christmas, but uh, I still hate going shopping. You know, I can go shopping for anything you ask me for. I mean, I can walk behind you looking for dresses, no problem. Shoes, no problem. Unless it's Christmas. If it's Christmas, don't come with me. Call me out. <laughs> Maybe the next time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Liliana, nice talking to you. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Ada, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. Uh, I a cute day. I got, I got at home an hour, uh, hour, uh, hour ago. Today, I don't have a, a surgery. I surgeries. only had a surgery. I had a, uh, three consultations, the patient for the clinic, and the, I reviewed the films, answer, and the same, uh, same email. Uh, same, uh, no, answer and same emails. And when I finished, uh, I put my thing away in the prepare to go at home. Um, arrive at home, uh, but take a bath and change my clothes and prepare the dinner for my family. And I had a dinner in my family and prepare the prepare. study in the class, prepare, prepare and for the class, I I uh, the strange thing I is that the kid day I was uh, I have a more sleep teacher. Oh right, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, I I my usually is a uh, is a wrong the day every day. <laughs> well. Yeah, you know, that's, I mean, that happens. Most of us are always in a hurry, running around all day long. That's normal. But the good thing is that you're here in class, relaxed already. Thank you and welcome. Thank you, teacher. Hey, Jose Wilfredo, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher, so far so good. It was a really relaxing day. What about you? Well, here, you know, just here, just here. Same old story as usual. Trying to keep busy. Oh, that's really, really good. Just that it's really hot today. It's been hard for you today? Yeah. Really? Yeah. A long day? Uh, no, 
No, a hard day not to carry a hard day. Okay, and what did you do today? I mean, what was your routine? Um, well, I today at work only have to uh, join it for one meeting, and then that's that's uh, that's all because I need to I need to participate on one training section, but we'll begin we'll begin at the next uh, Monday, so that's why. I didn't work today. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. But it was really easy. That's cool. And so that means that day. you could relax, rest a little bit. Yes, yes. Uh, just I have to meet my new co-workers on that meeting, but that's it. Was really good. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, once in a yeah. while to, to be able to relax in the middle of the week is cool. Yeah, it's really cool. Because I need to have uh, some access to some tools that I will use, but they request the access until today. So until Monday, they send the access to me. Oh, really? Yeah, because I was using the, the access from my boss, so I couldn't good continue is, working like that. The good thing is that you have everything ready. Yeah, that's right. Okay, cool. Good to know. Because I'm afraid of welcome. Thank you, teacher. Anna Claudia, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. I'm doing very well. Thank you for asking. Here is a, it's a hot day. The weather is here is ah, oh, after just gonna be, and it's not raining. There is an attempt to rain, but it's not raining, and I guess that is the, the worst, <laughs> making the day very very hot. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Mm -hmm. It's kind of well, the weather at this time of the year gets crazy. Oh my God. And is it still missing uh, the Easter? Oh, yeah. That week's mm -hmm. going to be interesting. Mm -hmm. So, well, we are um, uh, like uh, preparing myself, my brain, my attitude for these coming days. They are going to be hot. So, my fun is going to work more than the expected because I'm not get used to sleep or have the to use the fan on a daily basis. It's just for these days. Well let me see. In my case, mm, well in my living room the, the fan, the ceiling fan is always working. Oh really? Yeah the same as in the the in the in the dining room, also with that ceiling fan, it's always working. Oh, really? My yeah. God. So I guess your uh, invoice for the electricity is higher. <laughs> Not that much. Not really. Oh, okay. It's just three persons here. And I mean, we don't spend that much time in okay. the house. Ah, it's just when you are at home. Yeah. Ah, okay. I mean, the only one who's here more of, most of the time is my son, but uh, when he gets bored or hot, he, well, that's not good because sometimes he gets into his bedroom, turns the air conditioner. I remember on, you and said he has watching, air conditioner, right? Yeah. And he starts like uh, getting into his classes because he still got some classes online. Ah, okay. But uh, no, really, you know, the electricity bill is not that that expensive. Well, that's good. But yeah. I'm just uh, preparing my mind and my, I don't know, uh, yes, my mind. <laughs> Letting, uh, getting to know that 
ah, these coming days are going to be in the same way. So it's going to, to pass. The, then next month it will be different and so on. Yeah, so on. what you should do is get a, get a swimming pool. Oh my God, that would be amazing. <laughs> the ones that sell in the supermarket at least, right? <laughs> Yeah, you can get one of those ones, a little table, put your computer on that and start working from there. Oh, I, I, I'm pretty sure that if I take a shower or something like that, or I get into a swimming pool, I will be coming back and sleeping immediately. <laughs> oh, really? Yes. Yes, of course. Mm. Interesting. Anna Claudia, welcome. Thank you, teacher. Let's see who else is around. Nicolas, hello, how are you? Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Well, good evening. How's good everything? Evening. Tell me. Well, uh, today is a, a very, a very, a very work, and I am a tired, very tired. The, Today we were in a meeting with a water board, a water board uh, of the a community in Huachapan. Uh, the objective was to understand if there if there are conditions to install micrometers, micrometers, micro micro uh, micrometers. Mic micrometers uh, the the uh, the basis basis a uh, base the base base uh, of this process is the new water law uh, is necessary a uh, prepare the the the, the uh, water systems community uh, prepared for uh, for quantificar to measure measure yeah measure okay measure the the water is necessary measure the water the 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 water the water law uh, obliga mandates you, but days. Mandates. Mandates. The new water law mandates of the of the mandate the quantificated me dijo quantificar su eh, medir measure 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 the Measure the, the water for 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 the community is necessary. Uh, the activity took place in the morning and in the in the afternoon we we were with the major of the San Pedro Puxtla uh, of similar activity with similar activity. Mm. Interesting. He's very retired, teacher. Interesting, um, interesting. Okay. So you always busy, Nicholas. You always? You are always busy, siempre ocupado. Of course, of course, teacher. He, he, same, same you are the co-worker, uh, are the co-worker. Igual que usted y los compañeros. ¿Sí? Yeah, well, people here is always busy. Thank you very much. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Okay, guys. In just a second.
Okay, let's see. Internet is acting up. Let's see, who else is around? Maria Alejandra, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher, good evening. I'm fine, I think I'm fine, hey you? I'm just fine, today was your day off, right? No, today is when? Wednesday. Oh yeah, tomorrow is it, right? <laughs> yes, tomorrow is my day off. That's I feel cool. I'm prepared for my day. <laughs> you feel prepared for the, your day off. My <laughs> gosh, that's interesting. Ah, uh, teacher. This week I have a lot of problems with um uh, in the work with the platform because the ET uh, upload a uh, different modification for the platform and then have a problem with my BPM. And I feel like today don't have didn't have a problem with the system, but tomorrow don't don't worry for have our problems or not. <laughs> okay, cool. That's nice. That's nice. So tomorrow you are you feel free. Yeah, free, free in the streets and the other. <laughs> Man, and I'm going to San Salvador tomorrow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> By only the driving in the afternoon, teacher, uh, in the yeah, morning. Yeah, that's the problem. I am going to San Salvador in the afternoon. <laughs> Tomorrow have a, a test or a, like this for the dress in a, una tienda. Oh, yeah, the trial, the trial. Uh, the trial and um, stay near to... Uh, Bernal. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. And I think that only do this, but I don't know. <laughs> I, I will, have a I will try. I will try to avoid that area. Uh -huh. <laughs> Please. <laughs> My car don't have a polarizado teacher. My car is not tinted. Uh, my car is not tinted and all people see me. <laughs> mm -hmm. interesting, and you identify my very well. <laughs> well, actually, tomorrow I'm going to be riding a motorcycle, so um, I'm not taking the car. Okay. It's better because the gas is very expensive. <laughs> yeah, but you got to be more careful. Ah, uh, yes, because all the people, I don't know, yeah. I think that driving yeah, is very see. aggressive. Yeah, I see many Marias Alejandras in the street. <laughs> I mean, many, a lot of aggressive people. <laughs> no, teacher. I don't dangerous in the street. <laughs> no, you are a menace. <laughs> No, I drive it very well. Okay, well, good for you. <laughs> and for you, teachers. <laughs> yeah, 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 you are right, you are right. You are right. Thank you very much, Maria Alejandra, and welcome. You're welcome, teacher. Okay, let's see. Heidi, hello, Heidi, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm doing great. Thanks, God. Okay, that's nice. That's the attitude. So, how was your day? It was very... Uh, what do you say? Tranquilo, calm. Quiet, calm? Quiet, calm. Mm -hmm. Really? That's yeah. nice. Mm -hmm. That's nice for a Wednesday, right? Yeah. Teacher, can I make a question? Yeah, sure. 
it's it's that again I have difficulties in in the platform. Okay, you got a problem with the platform. Huh? Okay, which exercise? Let me see. Which section? Section two? Section two, uh huh. Exercise number? The last ones. It's that I don't know if you have if you have to write two point two David or uh huh. Is that two point two uh, sentences four and five, I guess. Uh -huh. Two point two. Yes. It's that I don't know if we have to type my new neighbor David or my new neighbor or David or okay, okay, okay. We are in section two point two, right? Uh-huh. Okay. Number four, four and, and five. five. Let's see, but four and five is she said keep quiet. Mm, no. This one, the instructions are convert the direct. Yes, no it's question. The second part. Is it's the second part. Mm -hmm. Section two point five. He asked me. He asked me if that was my cat. No. It, uh huh. I think that that Heidi uh, is talking about the section two point five. Mm. Right. No, it's the task two point two and. Uh, two point two, yeah. number four. Is that your cat? I know you're talking about the tax. Huh? What? Ah, all right. Task wow. two point two. What are you talking about, Heidi? The platform. Uh, the platform. Yes, is that your cat? It says that what you've been telling. Part two <laughs> and exercise four and five. I'm sorry, in the platform you say section number two, 2.2. Yes, the one that you told teacher that says, is, is that, that your cat? Is that mm -hmm. your cat? He asked me if that was my cat. Mm. And number five, he asked me if I was listening to him. No, but that is mm, yes. Number four, yes. He asked me if that was my cat, and number five, he asked me if I was listening to him. The one that I'm talking about says, My new neighbor David asked me, Do you live with your family? And okay. can, I, can I talk I to you? I ask again. I yes. ask again. My new neighbor David asked me. Uh -huh. Did, do you live with your family? Remember, in all of them, you're going to answer he. Ah, because okay. we are talking about David. I'm, okay. I'm trying the number five you say, teacher. The, one that, the one that she's saying, uh, the first one is, he asked me if I live with my family. Uh, he asked me if I live. Okay. But which is the one that you are missing? The number five. I, no, Heidi, Heidi, Heidi. Mm -hmm. It's number five. Which one is number five for you? What does it say? Can I talk to you for a minute? Oh, and then yeah, the because same. remember, the remember that the system changed the order for all of us. That's why I asked you which one is it for you. Mm -hmm. He asked me if he could talk to me for a minute. Mm -hmm. It's what I was wondering. It was he or my neighbor or David, but it's him. No, because okay. remember we are talking about David, so you don't uh -huh. you don't continue saying the name. You just get into the the, the pronoun. Uh huh. And the one and the one that is uh, the tax. Should we write the whole sentence or only the tax? And which one? 
I don't get you. Which exercise are you talking about? Because I mean, uh, in this exercise, uh, uh, you gotta write the whole thing. He asked me if he could talk to me for a minute. In the previous section, uh, he said exercise regularly. He told me to exercise regularly. That is correct. The one that the teacher is saying in that way is correct. I was missing a he. Now I got it. Which one is the other section you are missing, Heidi? Or you're having problems? I'm looking for it right now. It's uh, number 3.7. Okay, oh yeah, but 3.7, that's still waiting. Let's do something in this case, Heidi. Uh, I'll help you at the end of the class, okay? Okay. Yeah, because we are talking way ahead of, of this. Okay, okay. But just remind me, don't disconnect at the end of the class and I'll help you out, okay? Okay, thank you. No problem, sure. no problem. I yeah, have a yeah. question in that section. Uh, the first part, Around uh, that the instruction said at the end use the verb in bra brackets. Yeah. Ah, uh, uh, this. Uh, let me see. Uh, number five in my case. He told her go and lie down. I wrote he told her to go and lie down, but. Uh, get rid of the two. He told her go go and lie down. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Well, thank, you. thank you. Thank you, all of you. Now, guys, I need to get the attendance. I'm so sorry. Let me get it. Uh, I'm gonna be fast with this because we got a lot of work for tonight. Let's see. Uh, Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Amarelia Alfaro Gómez. Present. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Jairi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Henry Neftalí Mendez Torres. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present. Jacqueline Xiomara Morales de Castro. Present. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Jose Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present, teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Rebeca Jasmine Monterrosa Figueroa. Present. Thank you. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Roman Frank Figueroa Peñate. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present teacher. And Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Thank you, Stephanie. Okay, I still got a few minutes. Let's see who else is around here. Ambar, hello, Ambar, how are you? Hello, teacher, I'm fine. What about you? I'm just fine, just fine, you know, here, same old story as usual. How was your day? My day is the same, same old story the, the last days because I don't have a lot of clients and actually I don't feel very well. I, I have a headache. Oh, you got a headache? Oh, that's bad, that's bad. Well, Relax, take it easy, don't worry. Thank you very much for doing, for making the effort of being in the class and welcome, Amber. Thank you, teacher. Let's see, there's Jacqueline. Hello, Jacqueline, how are you? 
Um, very well, teacher. Today was um, <laughs> an stressful day because we have full class today. Oh, really? Yeah. In kindergarten, there are um, 12. How many, how many kids you got? <laughs> 12. 12. Oh, yes, well, but they they are uh, for your soul. <laughs> Just twelve. Just come 12. on. <laughs> but it's difficult, teacher. That's easy, Cristiana. Actually, I will never get close to them. <laughs> I don't like preschool. Preschool for me is like uh, uh, no way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, do you understand? Yeah, it was difficult and some of them are very, um, well, uh, about the behavior. <laughs> yeah, they of are course. They really, really... Um, Jumpy, hyper. <laughs> exactly, something like that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's difficult, it's difficult. I mean, it's difficult with one or two kids at home. Mm -hmm. And when you get like 12 of them together, man, that gets interesting, right? Yes. And can you imagine they can't um, be with a mask all the time? They are uh, touching uh, all the tables and uh, kissing each other. <laughs> Well, it was very, very uh, difficult this morning for us, but... Yeah, uh, kids at that age, they get physical with each other. I mean, they touch, they hug, they kiss. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, that's difficult. That's pretty difficult. Yeah. Exactly. Well, you know, the same happens with kids between 15 and 17 years old. They get also a little bit physical. Yeah, exactly. and believe me, it's also hard to to control them. <laughs> yes, I know, I know, teacher. In the um, in the school that I work, um, assist from preschoolers to ninth grade. Okay. And I preschool, preschool to ninth. Okay, well, that's cool. Yeah. I mean, actually, I prefer high school. High school is nice. High school. Mm. Yeah, high school is cool. I mean, last time I was teaching high school, I was at, uh, where was I? Oh, at Garcia Flamenco. The only bad student from high school that I remember is a girl. She's called Maria Alejandra, is her name. You know, uh -huh. that was a very bad student. Bad, bad no student at school. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Yeah, but uh, yeah, little kiddos are different. I mean, they're special. You gotta be patient, you gotta be tender. And I'm patient and I can be mm -hmm. tender, but little kids, they really get on my nerves. I mean, I don't know how you manage. <laughs> well, I, I think that today I we'll have a, a nightmare or dream <laughs> with one kid called Milton because he's really, he has a lot of energy. Yeah, I know what you mean. I don't know how you guys do well. I don't know how mothers of two or three kids manage. I mean, and single moms, my gosh, mm. that's, it's a whole story. different story, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's <laughs> something special. Hey, Jacqueline, nice talking to you. Welcome. Thanks to asking, teacher. Let's see. Hey, Frank, how are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. Okay, be mean to me. Be the bad person with me. Tell me, how's the weather over there? <laughs> it's very good, teacher. It's, it's fresh here. It's not too cold, but it's very comfortable. Oh, so that's different. nice. <laughs> so nice different. for you. Nice for you. You know, yeah. on 
on Friday night, I will be I will be like, yeah, Frank is back home in San Salvador. <laughs> He's suffering as the rest of us. Okay. <laughs> yeah, actually, it must be kind of, uh, I mean, you must feel the difference on when you come from there, right? Yeah, obviously, yeah. A lot of difference. And it feels in the body and as... We say, I don't know if yesterday or, or uh, Tuesday, I don't know. We, we say that, right? that with, with the, that kind of change of, of temperature, the body goes down. I mean, the, the load of the, the energy goes down, right? Yeah, and the situation is this, like, I mean, after two, three days of being there, you are, you start yeah. to get uh, acclimat acclim acclimatized. Yes, of course. So, hold on, hold on. Oh. Hold on. Acclimatized. That's the acclimat Acclimatized. Okay. Yeah, but during the day, as I told you before, uh, there's no difference with with San Salvador because I mean the, the, the temperature rises up, rise yeah, up those days. So in the middle of the day is not hot, but it's a little warm. Little yeah, warm. but around four or five p.m. it yeah. starts. The temperature starts going down and going yeah. down fast. Yeah, very fast. Uh, I mean. By now it's about, I don't know, like 12, 12 degrees, I think. Like what? 12? Yeah. 12. Man, yeah. we don't, you know what? Uh, whenever somebody tells this phrase, it's because they are so, they're going to tell something bad, but with all due respect, Frank, I hate you, man. 12 degrees. <laughs> okay, bye. That's, yeah, yeah, that's, like that. <laughs> that's just perfect for sleeping. Yeah, yeah. Not, yeah, you can sleep very well with that. With this, yeah, yeah, let's not rub it in, please. <laughs> no, it's cool, it's cool. I mean, it's so nice that you got that chance. And you know, something something interesting is this, that, I mean, actually, you can have that opportunity and you are like, what, two hours from San Salvador, right? Yeah, like two hours and a half with yeah. you no know, traffic, right? Yeah, of course. I mean, it's not like you are that far away. Yeah, not too much. Yeah. And you can experience a different, a totally different weather. Yeah, and the routine at, at work is very, it's turned very easily just for, for the weather, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Okay. You don't sweat uh, almost nothing. And yeah, of course. <laughs> And that's a big, big difference. Yeah, imagine in my case, I just sleep like five hours a day, a night. And if it's too hot, sometimes I I don't even get that. Yeah. And then next day I'm kind of cranky. You know, I'm already cranky, I'm old. So I got a, I got a right to be cranky, but sometimes <laughs> when you're like sleep deprived, you get like, ah, uh, you get like mal. Easy. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Hey, Frank, nice having you here. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Let's see. Well, guys, uh, welcome all of you. Uh, we have a couple of activities tonight. I'm sorry I couldn't greet all of you like one by one, but uh, we're going to be working on the manual a little bit. We're going to have a conversation, solve it some exercises. Then we are going to work on conversation right at the before the end of the class. It's going to be interesting. I will try to make this fast. Let's see. So welcome all of you, the ones that I couldn't talk to you. We will try to talk a little bit before we finish the class. And let's see. Today we are going to start working with the manual. Okay. And we're going to be working on page number 17. So if you got your manuals handy. Because let me oops, see. Mm -hmm. 
Here we go. Okay, we got us here the 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 conversation. Okay, and the conversation goes as follows. Emily is telling Diego about an um, an online order for cho for choose she just plays. Take turns practicing the conversation with a partner. Okay, and the conversation goes like this. I just ordered a pair of shoes online. They are very expensive in stores, but I got an excellent deal online. I can even believe it. You should be careful when ordering stuff online. Last time I ordered some shirts, but I got the wrong size and color. Then I had to chip the package back to get the right items. It ended up being more expensive. Well, I read a lot of positive reviews on the site. So I think I made a good choice with these shoes. I read a lot of reviews too, but I didn't know that sellers could post fake reviews. You may want to go and double check to avoid any issues with your purchase. Okay, guys, I just sent you the, the, the audio. The conversation. Now I'm just going to pronounce it once for you. I need you because this vocabulary you know it already. I mean, we are not going to be wasting that much time on that. I need you to practice the conversation in first. Let me just get you the the picture. I know that in some cases for some of you it's easier to be watching it on the cell phone instead of checking on the on the manual. Thank you, thank you, teacher. Yeah, no problem, no problem. Just give me a second. I'm trying to make it bigger. Okay, there you go. I'm gonna create the groups. You're gonna be working in pairs. You're gonna have four minutes to practice. And let's see. Groups are created, please jump in. Hey, Jose Wilfredo. So, 
I think I made a good choice with these shoes. I read a lot of reviews too, but I didn't know that Taylor could post pay reviews. You may want to go and double check to avoid any issues with your purchase. Okay, you want to try again? Okay, just, just a little thing, Maria Alejandra. Uh, you can say it both ways. In the phrase, you may want to go, but remember, if you say it like that, you gotta stress a little bit on the want. You may want to go. You, you hear may it? want to go. <laughs> okay, uh, listen, listen. You may want, want. I need to listen that key. Want. You may, you may want. want. Perfect. You may want to go. Uh, you may want to go and double check to avoid any issue with the person. Or the other way you can say it is like if you are talking in a in a different environment. I mean, in a different situation, you can say, "Oh, you may want to go and double check." Remember, one, two. You can pronounce it one, and it's okay. Okay. Just that in informal in informal conversation, you can say. Hey man, you may want to go and double check, right? Right. So, want to hear you, ladies? Oh, Stephanie, I guess it's Stephanie. Still on her way home. Uh -huh. She's on her way home, but she can listen uh, to you again. Okay. Okay. Okay, I start. I just ordered. Ordered. A pair of shoes online. They are very expensive in a store, but I got an excellent deal online. I can't even believe it. Even. Even. You should be careful when ordering stuff online. Last time I ordered some shirts, but I got the wrong size and color. Then I had to ship the package back to get the right items. It ended up being more expensive. Well, I read a lot of positive review on the site, so I think I made a good choice with these shoes. I read a lot of reviews too, but I didn't know that sellers could post fake reviews. You may want to go and double check to avoid any issues with your purchase. Yeah, that's a problem, the fake reviews, right? Yes. yes. I hate them whenever we are trying to download an app. I mean, you have to scroll down a lot of, in order to see the real ones. Yes. <laughs> the real comments, because the first ones are like, everything's perfect. This is the best. And I'm like, yeah, whatever. Um, maybe they start to give when you give you review or like this. I think that order for uh, more yeah. point. Yeah, yeah the, same, the same happened to me when I met Maria Alejandra, you know. First <laughs> I met her, I thought, oh, nice girl. And then I got to know her, and then I realized, man. Teacher, <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, I'll let you work. I'll let you work. Feel <laughs> of shoot life. They are very expensive in stores, but I got an excellent deal online. I can even believe it. You should be careful when ordering a stuff online. Last time I ordered some shirts, but but I got the wrong size and color. Then I have to ship the package back to get the right items. It ended up being more expensive. Well, I read it a lot of positive review on the seat. So site. I think I, on the site. So I think I made good a choice with with the shoes. I read a lot of reviews too, but I didn't know that sellers could post fake reviews. You may want to go and double check to avoid any issues with your purchase. I will okay. start. Okay. Again. I, uh, I, I will start. 
Me? Okay. Oops. Sim. Ok, let's see who's gonna start. Ileana and Maria Alejandra, please, you start. Me. Uh, you start, Ileana. Uh -huh. Ileana, your microphone. Sorry. <laughs> okay. No problem. I just ordered a pair of shoes online. They are very expensive in stores, but I got an excellent deal online. I can't even believe it. You should be careful when ordering stuff online. Last time I ordered some shirts, but I got the wrong size and color. Then I had to ship the package back to get the right items. It end up behind more expensive. Well, I read a lot of positive reviews on the site, so I think I made a good choice with these shoes. I read a lot of reviews too, but I didn't know that seller could post pay reviews. You may want to go and double check to avoid any issues with your purchase. Okay, Maria Alejandra. In the first section you practice, it ended up, ended up. Ah, uh, ended up. Yeah. It ended up being more expensive. It ended up be, being more expensive. Perfect. That's nice. Thank you very much, both of you. Okay, let's see. Next, Ada and Ambar. Oh, let's see. Ada, uh, Ada starts, Ambar. Ada starts. Okay. okay. I just ordered a pair of shoes online. They are very expensive and a store, but I got an excellent deal online. I can ever believe it. You should be careful when ordering stuff online. Last time I ordered some shirts, but I got the wrong size and color. Then I have to ship the package back to get the right items. It ended up being more expensive. Well, I read a lot of positive review on the site. So I think I made a good choice with these shoes. I read a lot of reviews too, but I didn't know that sellers could post fake reviews. You may want to go and double check to avoid any issues with your purchase. Perfect, very well done. Ada. In the first part, even, I can even believe it. I can even believe it. Perfect. And on bar, uh, let's see, the right items, items, okay? Items, okay, teacher, Excellent. thank you. Excellent, thank you. Nothing to you. Now, let's see, uh, Ana Claudia and Marcos. Ana Claudia, you'll start. Okay. Um, I just ordered a pair of shoes online. They are very expensive in stores, but I got an excellent deal online. I can't even believe it. 
You should be careful when ordering stuff online. Last time I ordered some shears, but I got the wrong size and color. Then I had to ship the package back to get the right item. It ended up being more expensive. Well, I read a lot of positive reviews on the site, so I think I made a good choice with these shoes. I read a lot of reviews too, but I didn't know that the seller could post fake reviews. You may want to go and double check to avoid any issues with your purchase. Okay, perfect. Both of you, thank you very much. Thank you. Richard, Fernando, yes. Eh, ¿Cómo es la pronunciación? ¿Es red o read? Read. Okay, read in present, read in past. In this case, I thought it was past. Let me see, let me see. Oh, yeah, I'm past. sorry, my bad. I read. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm telling you. Uh, in present, read. In past, read. Okay, in this case, it's read, right? Yeah. Okay. I read a lot of reviews. Mm. Let's see. I read, read, read. Yeah, read, read, read. Read, read, read. Yeah. Past and past participle is, is read. Okay, let's see. Oh, my gosh. What happened here? Oh, right here. Uh, 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 Fernando. Yes, teacher. You and Ramon. Uh, Ramon, you start. Okay, okay. My shoes order a pair of shoes online. They are very expensive in the stores, but I got an excellent deal online. I can't even believe it. You should be careful when ordering stuff online. Last time, I ordered some shirts, but I got the wrong size and color. Then I had to ship the package back to get the right item. It ended up being more expensive. Well, I read, I read a lot of reviews too, but I didn't know that sellers could post fake reviews. You may want to go and double check to avoid any issues with your purchase. Uh, <laughs> I think Ramon is similar, right? I, I, oh, I mistake. Oh. Yeah. Why don't you start over, guys? Well, okay. I read, I read, let me see, I read a lot of positive reviews on the site. Let's so start over I, from the very beginning. Okay. I just ordered a pair of shoes online. They are very expensive in stores. But I got an excellent deal online. I can't even believe it. You should be careful when ordering stuff online. Last time I ordered some shirts, but I got the wrong size and color. Then I had to ship the package back to, back to get the right item. It ended up being more expensive. Well, I read, I read a lot of positive reviews on the, on the site. So I think I made a good choice with these shoes. I read a lot of reviews too, but I didn't know that Sarah could post fake reviews. You may want to go and double check to avoid any issues with your purchase. Okay, thank you very much, both of you. Now let's see, next. Heidi and Jacqueline, Jacqueline, you'll start. Okay, teacher. Um, I just ordered a pair of shoes online. They are very expensive in a store, but I got an excellent deal online. And I can't even believe it. You should be careful when ordering stuff online. Last time I ordered some, some shirts, but I got the wrong size and color. Then I had to ship the package back to get the right items. It ended up being more expensive. Well, I read a lot of positive reviews on the site. So I think I made a good choice with these shoes. 
I read a lot of reviews too, but I didn't know that sellers could post fake reviews. You might want to go a double check to avoid any issues with your purchase. Perfect, just perfect, ladies. Thank you. Nicholas and Roxana. Roxana, you start. Okay, let me see. We need to see. I just ordered a pair of shoes online. They are very expensive in the stores, but I got an excellent deal online. I can't even believe it. You should be, you should be careful when ordering stuff online. Last time I ordered, ordered, ordered some shirts, but I got the wrong size and color. Then I had to ship the package back to get the right items. It ended and end, ended up being more expensive. Well, I read a lot of positive reviews on the site. So I think I made a good choice with this shoes. I read a lot of a lot of a lot of reviews too, but I didn't know that seller called post fake reviews. You may want to go and double check to avoid any issues with your purchase. Perfect. Thank you. Excellent. Now let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Henry and Jose Rivas. Henry, you'll start. Okay. I just ordered a pair of shoes online. They are very expensive in stores, but I got an excellent deal online. I can't even believe it. You should be careful with under when ordering stuff online. Last time I ordered some shirts, but I, but I got the wrong size and color. Then I had to ship the package back uh, to the right items. It ended up being more expensive. Well, I read a lot of positive reviews on the site. So I think I, I made a good choice for these shoes. I read a lot of reviews too. But I didn't know that sellers could post fake, fake review. You may want to go and double check to avoid any issue with your purchase. OK, perfect. Now let's Thank see, you. Sus Susana, you ready? Yes, teacher. OK, what about you, Jose Wilfredo? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, Susanna, you start. I just ordered a pair of shoes online. They are very expensive store, but I got an excellent deal online. I can't even believe it. it. You should be careful when you offer when you ordering a stuff online. Last time I ordered some shirts, but I got the wrong size and color. Then I have to chip the package back to the right items. It ended up being more expensive. Well, I read a lot of positive review on this site. So I think I made a good choice with, the, with these shoes. I read a lot of reviews too, but I didn't know that seller could post fake reviews. You may want to go and double check to avoid any issues with your purchase. Perfect, thank you. Uh, Francisco and Frank. Francisco, you'll start. I just ordered a, a pair of shoes online. They are very expensive in store, but I got an excellent deal online. I can't even believe it. You should be careful when ordering stuff online. Last time I ordered some shirts, but I got the wrong size and color. 
Then I had to ship the package back to get the right items. It ended up being more expensive. Well, I read a lot of positive reviews on the site. So I think it made a good choice with these shoes. I read a lot of views too, a lot of reviews too, but I didn't know that sellers could post fake reviews. You may want to go and double check to avoid any issues with your purchase. Okay, perfect. Thank you guys. Let's see, uh, uh, Stephanie, you ready? <laughs> No chips. Okay, no problem, no problem. Now guys, let me just get the... Uh, uh, just a second, please. Bear with me just for a minute. Okay, now next activity, I will send you back to the groups, but what you're going to do is very simple. No, Stephanie, we couldn't hear you. Okay, guys. Uh, my gosh, I'm sorry. In the manual, after the conversation, we had a couple of questions. Well, actually three questions that we were going to, to we are going to discuss. It's short, so the discussion time is going to be short, just three minutes, but I'm gonna get you in a bigger groups, okay? Now, which is the activity? The questions you're going to do are the following ones. Let's look at them so we can discuss it like clearly when we get there. Um, the questions are, what should you do before buying from an online store? What tips would you give your partner to avoid fake reviews online? What can you do if you receive damaged items from an online purchase? Okay, those are the two questions you're going to be discussing. But before we jump into it, uh, let me get the attendance. Sorry. I hadn't realized it was nine already. Mm. Okay, let's see. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Eh, Amber Eli Alfaro. Present. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present, teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present, teacher. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present, teacher. Henry Neftali Mendez Torres. Here I am, teacher. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present. Jacqueline Xiomara Morales de Castro. Present. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Jose Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present, teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present, Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Rebeca Yasmin Monterrosa Figueroa. Present. Thank you. Uh, Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Thank you, Stephanie. Uh, Billman Frank Figueroa Peñate. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. And Present Fernando teacher. Marvin González Martínez. Thank you, Ramón. Present teacher. Thank you, Fernando. Okay, guys, now we go to the groups. We are going to discuss, okay? 
you got just three minutes for this exercise and then we come back, please. Let's hurry up. Would you prefer buying from an online store? Mm, for me, in my case, before going buying something from an online store, is check the feedback section. Yes. Is there any good comment and a good rate for the store? Yes. Is is recommend that we check for the, example, the mm -hmm. 4.8 out of 5 in, in, in um, the scale from 0 to 5 and then you get into the groups Sanders, come. Give me, give me a couple of minutes. Check no please. problem, no problem, no problem. Don't worry. Right, thank you. Okay, due to connection problems, we're gonna wait here. Because the internet is giving problems to everybody.
Okay, let's see. I'm gonna ask some of you guys. Let's see who. Hmm. Fernando, oh, well, Fernando was kind of busy. Let's see. Uh, Ana Claudia, you love buying online, right? So tell me, please <laughs> help me out. What should you do before buying from an online store? According to the reading, you must take care that you are selecting the the right size or color of your item or product. Okay, uh, and according to you, because I'm asking you, you, directly you. I agree with that. It's important to double check and verify some online stores. They have the reference, for example, with shoes, there are stores that they have European size and they give you the option to make sure your foot in centimeters so you can compare and find which is your right size. Mm -hmm. And really? it's important to have to take care and, and double check all the things before purchasing or make the purchase. And in case something is wrong, well, <laughs> it's part of the business of the learning. Okay, well, yeah, as you say, it's part of the business of learning. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Now, let's see, Jose Wilfredo. Hello. 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 Look, tell me, uh, do you have any tip you can give me in order to avoid fake reviews online? Yes, teacher. I can advise uh, that you have to purge on an official site for whatever store. Uh huh. That's oh, the store. Okay. The, yeah. oh, the official site. Perfect. Yeah, that's a good advice that I can recommend you when you buy it, uh, something on the website. Yeah, otherwise I'm open to, to to whatever comes there. Yeah, yeah, that's right, teacher. That's that is because you have to submit your payment information that can be your credit or debit card. Oh yeah, that's not quite advisable, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, let's see. Where's Roxana? I'll talk to you in a while, Roxana. Hi, I'm here. Okay, tell me, Roxana, what can you do if you receive damaged items from an online purchase? Mm, well, in that case, I return the product and I have to go to the store. And what about if it's online? Uh, do they have a, a take back, a bring back a policy? To be honest, uh, reimbursement. I didn't, I didn't check it. No, <laughs> I never checked that. Really? Always when, I, yeah, when I bought something online and I need to um, return the product, I visit the store. Okay. What about if the store is from another country? What do you do? Mm, well, in that case, I'm I'm not sure. I prefer buying in a uh, local stores. Amazon, okay. I I can't use Amazon. It's complex for me because I hate use my credit card online. So I prefer yeah. uh, get some deals online. But uh, to be honest, I prefer go to the store and choose the product. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay, guys. Next activity. Let's see. 
Okay, let's see, we've got here building vocabulary, match the terms related to online shopping to the corresponding meanings. Let's see, give me just a second. Okay, we got, first one we got, uh, let's make this a little bit bigger, so everybody can't wash it. Okay, like this. We got a uh, reliable seller, fake review, ratings, guarantee, faulty, skeptical. And we got the, the definitions, working badly or are unreliable, unreliably because of imperfections. Feedbacks and comments about the third party seller focus on the buying experience, not easily convinced having doubts or reservations, positive or negative feedback about a product or service written or paid by brands or sellers. A seller you can trust with your purchase and who is consistently good in delivering quality of products. A formal assurance that certain conditions will be fulfilled relating to a product or service. Okay, guys, now you need to do the matching. How are you gonna do it? Working in pairs. Let me get you again into the groups. Okay, let's see. No, let's work on the groups that are already established. It's better. I'll send you to the groups right now and I'll send you the image so you can check it out for the ones who are working on the cell phone. It's better. And let's see. Give me just a second, Henry, because I don't got you in my group. There we go. The, the the activity right mm -hmm. that one? yeah the, the activity 2.5 mm -hmm. fake okay. review fake review i think is let me see it's not easily having convinced having doubts or reservations mm -hmm. okay we are cool with that. And number three, rating ratings. I think is a formal assurance that certain conditions will be fulfilled relating. Oh, sorry. Ratings. Uh, ratings. Oh, feedback and comments about the third party seller focus on the buying experience. Which one? Ratings? Which one do you say, teacher? Feedback and comments about that third party seller focus on the buying experience. Well, I think ratings. Yes. I think it's the last one a formal assurance that certain conditions will be fulfilled relating. Oh no, that's a, that's a guarantee. That's a guarantee, my dear. Feedback about the product okay. or service rating so, or pay by brands or sellers. I, okay, teacher, I, uh, this, this exercise. No, 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 no. Number, the one that you say, uh, uh, 
روزه is fake review. Feedback. Positive or negative feedback about a product or service written or paid by brands or uh, ratings. Rating is feedback and comments about the, about a third party yes, seller. Yes, perfect. That's it. On the buying experience. Yes, that's mm -hmm. the one. Yeah, it's it's. And we have a that, warranty. It's that in the platform is 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 yeah. not correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I so actually put that that the, the meaning okay. that you said. Said teacher, the, it, the the platform puts me. The, that, which that one is wrong. in the platform? Uh, Which exercise is? Uh, Let me. Two point two point five, the activity two point five. Two point five. Okay, I will report. I will make a report. I need to fill in a, a report in, about this exercise. Thank you for letting me know. Let's see, because in the platform, you got that reliable seller. It's a seller you can trust with your purchase and yeah. who is consistently fake review, not easily <clears throat> convinced, having doubts or reservations. No, that's wrong. Mm -hmm. Ratings, a formal assurance that certain conditions will be fulfilled relating to a wrong. Mm -hmm. Guarantee, feedback and comments, wrong. Faulty. Mm -hmm. Badly or unreliable because of imperfections. That's a fault. Faulty is uh, working badly or unreliably, unreliably, unreliable because unreliable. of imperfections. Yeah. Man, I may I need to make a review. This is gonna be fun. The review. Yeah. Yeah, teacher. The other exercise I heard them several times too, and. I don't know if it's me. Now, some things that happens, you know, and and I have to I have to send a report. The problem with these levels is that as uh, I don't know what happened. It I guess nobody has to use this level since they changed the the problem is that they changed the all the info from the server. Actually, we did that. Uh, we changed company last year around December. And believe it or not, a lot of, of, of the info is like this, that we are fixing and fixing and fixing and making reports. And the problem is that uh, the, the ones who are fixing it are in Florida. So it's fun. It's a lot of fun. But this, like this exercise, it's easy to solve, to fix. Uh, as long as I don't forget, it can be fixed tomorrow. Okay. And it's Ileana's fault. No. Yeah. Okay, well, thanks for the heads up, guys. I will make my report right now. Thank you. Okay, teacher. What? That's all. Warranty number four, all right? Mm -hmm. ah, okay. You sure? Warranty. No, no, we are trying. We are thinking that that should be. Guarantee a formal assurance. Formal assurance, uh huh. Is this right? Yeah, in the platform is not correct. Ah, okay. But that is the. the the meaning, right? Guarantee. Yeah. Okay. We think we are complete, teacher. Is it the order, the number is uh, five, three, six, two, one, and four? Mm-hmm. Yes, okay. five, three, six, two, one, four, right? Five, three, six, one, two, 
one, one, two, eight, one, four. Uh -huh. Two, one, four? Because two is a... Uh, two, one, four, uh-huh. Two, one, four, oh, okay. We're done, teacher. Okay, perfect, perfect. Just the thing is this, that I'm making a report. Okay, in the platform, I haven't seen that in the exercise. Mm. Uh, that's the thing is that in the platform is there's a mistake. Ah, okay, okay. I'm having complete. No, oh, I'm fighting with the midterm uh, questionnaire when we need to convert the direct WH question. I'm still. Working on that. Susana, where, I don't remember if you told me you live eh, near to see what the work. No, I don't remember. Okay. Where do you live? In which area? I know, in Mexicanos. Oh, I thought you were living here. Oh, I'm sorry. Mexicanos. But that is a nice place. Mm -hmm. hmm? That, that is a nice place. My sister was living in that area for a long time ago. I remember, yes. You live in near, near mm -hmm. Mexicano. In, in, in Mexicano because she was near to the university, National University. That I is know, the area, right? San, San Salvador. Yes, but I don't remember the name of her. San near, uh -huh. San near. But I have two sisters. One was living in, in some apartments, and the other was, I don't know, I just remember. I don't know how to say it. Do you, do you, come on? My sister. Ah, sister. Ah, okay. Yes, I was living in San Salvador like around 10 years, but then I came back to Santa Ana. Mm. Oh my God, I was, no, no. And I prefer, I was working here in uh, a few years I, were, I was working here, but then um, I started working again in San Salvador, but I decided to continue traveling every day. I didn't want to leave again. Yeah. Oh, no. No, no, no. And you live in Santana for your work? I live here because. Again, Ileana. Sorry, uh, estoy conectada a la computadora y el celular, perdón, pero ya me salgo del otro. Oh, okay, well, that's cool, that's cool. You're reading really to the class. Hey, Roxana, hello. Hi, teacher. I really love when you get that ad to Roxana. You really cheer me up, you know, when you get like, hi, I'm sorry, I'm tired. You really make my day with that attitude, man. I feel that my spirits grow, you know. I feel excited. I know, teacher. It's not possible. This week what? was very, is very hard. Oh, come on. Just a regular yeah. week. Yeah, I was telling uh, Monday, I guess, that we are working in a certification. So we need to check a lot of, uh, report, send a lot of emails, and try to organize a lot of papers, and you well, know. But not ISO. I hate freaking ISO. It's complex. Yeah, I hate certifications, you know. It's a yeah. lot of paperwork. Yes, and you know, we need to send some uh, doc documents to um, 
sí, superintendencia. Superintendencia del sistema financiero. Yeah. But not here. So it's in Dominican Republic. So it's complex because I need uh, the support to my worker because I'm online, but I try to support and solve a lot of cases and have meetings and you know well but you know that's why you are making the big box mm -hmm. <laughs> that's the reason you monthly get a big check like this huge i have a big check i mean my camera cannot cannot get it no, so big no, no, no. i i i can comment Okay, cool. Thank you, Roxana. Nice talking to you. Okay, guys, let's do the exercise. Let's not waste more time. Well, no, I wasn't wasting time. I was talking to her. Let's see. Let me make this a little bit bigger so we can wash it and solve it together. Okay. Um, let's see. Reliable seller. Okay, that's that's that one's for oh my gosh sorry let's see all the names that one's for ambar what you got for a liable seller ambar give me one second teacher i maybe it's a seller you can trust with your purchase and who is consistently good in delivering quality of products no not maybe it is that one excellent number thank you thank you teacher. Let's see. fernando fake review what you got for fake review i got positive or negative feedback about a product or service writing or paid by brands or sellers okay perfect just remember written written Written. Thank you. Written. Perfect. And now, Francisco, ratings. What's ratings for you? Uh, I hear you. Oh, I barely do. Hello. is reaching yep um possible uh um feedback and uh, comment about your very seller focused on the buying experience okay perfect great now let's see, Henry, what you got, Henry, for me? Number four, guarantee. Okay, give me a second. Uh, guarantee. A formal assurance that certain condition will be fulfilled relating to a product or service. Okay, a formal assurance. Excellent. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Number Number uh, uh, uh. number five, Marcos. Faulty. What's faulty, Marcos? Faulty. Okay. Faulty is um, working badly or unreliable because of imperfections. Okay. Working badly or unreliably. Unreliable. Because of imperfections. Thank you. And number six, that is skeptical, goes right here. Let's see who's going to read for us number six. And Maria Alejandra, please read number six. Not easily convinced. Convinced having, ha having doubt for reservation. Okay, perfect. That's just excellent, guys. Very, very well done. 
and here we go. Okay, guys, next activity for us. What? Oops. Man, I hate when my machine start acting up. Just give me a second. Internet is giving me. Uh, Okay. Now, guys, we're going to talk. We're going to have a conversation. This is conversation is going to be kind of weird, but uh, remember, we are talking about like uh, personal stuff. But don't worry. It's not that personal. It's just about taste. Okay. Like in my case, if you throw this question to me, believe me, I will answer to you like I kind of was, but I stopped being. And you are wondering why. Have you ever thought about becoming vegetarian? Uh, like in my case, as I was telling you, well, when I was uh, when I was a teenager, I didn't usually eat meat. Actually, I rarely, really rarely. I mean, I spent years without eating meat. Then I started eating whatever was moving. So let's see, uh, Ileana, have you ever thought about becoming vegetarian? Tell me. No, never. I love meat. <laughs> okay, perfect. That's, okay. that's the attitude. That's the attitude. <laughs> I totally agree with you. What about you, Ana Claudia? Uh, yes, I tried a long time ago. No, but I couldn't. <laughs> I love meat too. And chicken. Most I love chicken and fish than meal. In that case, we are weird. We are the opposites. Because I mean, for me, fish is acceptable. I like seafood. Oh, okay. But fish, fish, I mean, no, not really, not really my thing. I like the other seafood. And chicken, I just eat uh, chicken breast. Oh, really? Yeah, that's the only part of the chicken that I like, chicken breast. I can eat whatever part. Ah, what I, yes, I can eat whatever. I don't like Whichever. too much. Huh? Whichever. Whichever. Uh, I don't like, like, uh, like you said, pechuga, right? Yeah. Uh, those, I don't like them too much. And I like They're it so because, simple. yeah, that's why I like it, because it's tasteless. <laughs> As I told you, chicken is not really, really my thing. Uh, oh, okay. I love, I love beef. Man, I love beef. Really? I love pork. I love pork is rabbit. The issue, yeah, somehow. I love rabbit, deer, and rabbit. Yes, I can eat it. And well, actually, I love many animals. I mean, I have mm -hmm. many animals, and I have liked almost all of them. The only okay. thing I don't like is like, I don't like armadillo. I don't like goat. Mm, well, armadillos, it would be like el cusuco. Yeah. <laughs> Garrobo. The, no, 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 armadillo is cusuco. Cusuco. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't it's like similar it. to chicken. No, I, have, yeah. I haven't eaten, uh, wow, I have a long time, long uh, Lot of you goat, I don't like goat. It's what? smelly. Goat, cabra. Oh, That's no, I don't remember. Venado? A oh, deer. Yeah, I love deer. it. Nice. Delicious. Nice, nice. Those little bambis are delicious. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, thank you. What about you, Jose Wilfredo? Tell me, have you ever thought about becoming vegetarian? I don't think Wilfredo looks like the type of a vegetarian person. <laughs> Well, teacher, to be honest, I'm not vegetarian. I really and you wouldn't it. be? No, I wouldn't be. At my life, I'm never going to be happy. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Yeah. Now, guys, now, guys, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, where's 
friends, friends, friends. I think I lost some people here. Well, Jacqueline, tell me, would you like to go hunting? Uh, sorry, did you could you repeat, please? Could you like what? Would I... you like to go hunting? Hunting. Yes. Mm. Mm, sorry, teacher, but I don't understand. My my uh, dog was working. Okay, hunting, uh, cazando, cacería. Cacería. No, no, <laughs> no, no. It's fun. <laughs> no, <laughs> believe it or not, I <laughs> I don't like that. Um, I I. I can't kill any animals. <laughs> oh, well, I understand. But you still eat them, right? I'm not vegetarian. I like meat, but I can't kill any chicken or hen, any animal. Okay, okay, I understand you. Thank you, Fernando. I see when, when, for example, my mom killed a hen, and I didn't, I don't eat. Oh really? Yeah, I know. I know some people get like that. I don't have that problem. Mm -hmm. Let's you. see, Fernando. What about you? Would you like to go hunting? No, teacher. I wouldn't like. Uh, that's you wouldn't not like for me. it. I wouldn't like. Oh. that's not for me. I I don't have pets, but I respect the, the animals. I don't have pets oh. because because the disorder in the yeah. in the year well, for you know. take care. But... I understand you, I understand you. Well, I understand you, but uh, I don't really, I understand you in the philosophical sense because in my family, we ate a couple of pets, you know? Yeah. When I was a kid, we, once we had a rabbit as a pet and after a few months, it was lunch. <laughs> Delicious. The same, yeah, the same happened to a raccoon. Oh, okay. It, it was our pet, and and after a few months, yeah, it was a female. I remember, yeah. Uh, after <laughs> a few teacher, months, a cannibal. we were we were having lunch. Wow. It was delicious. Hunting is not for me, but the meat, yeah, yes. No, uh, you know, well, it's it's an interesting experience, but I mean, as long as you eat what you hunt. But I mean, just for as long as you eat what you hunt. Because I mean, uh, I used to go hunting with some friends. I, we used to go hunting rabbits, also deer. It was, it was interesting. But man, hunting deer is, believe me, is something special. You gotta have strong nerves. They cry. Actually, they cry. They make a noise if you hurt them and don't kill them with the first shot. The noise they make is like a person is crying. Oh, it's a blue experience. Yeah, I mean, as I tell you, it's not for everybody. Yeah, not for me. Hunting bird. Hunting what? <laughs> bird. When, when you're bird. hunting bird or bird? Well, when you're hunting bird, you gotta be careful because I mean you <laughs> can you be the one hunter. Yeah. If you don't shoot him for one shoot, that's gonna be perfect. Yeah, right? yeah, and you need a special caliber of, uh, of ammunition in order to yeah. to hunt those type those types of animals. Yeah. Uh, well, actually, hunting rabbits is difficult. I mean, they are so fast. So fast. They are so fast. Yeah. But they are but so. But of them is so delicious, it, right? It's tender. It's tender meat. Delicious. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see. Roxana, what about you? Would you like to go hunting, Roxana? We'll take you hunting. No. <laughs> to be honest, I would not like to go okay, hunt hunting. Yeah. Because I love the animals. I love the meat, but I prefer that other person kill the animal. Yeah. Yes. 
Yeah, no, of course, I understand you. I have a deep love of animals, you know, completely deep love of animals, fried mm. and stuff, you know, good. Okay. Me I too. do love them like that. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Mr. Rivas, Jose Rivas. Yep. Tell me, Jose, have you ever gone fishing? Fishing? No, I haven't. But I really want, I really want to do that. So yeah, so it's kind of interesting for me. So, but I haven't got gotten the opportunity to go. Oh, it's well. Actually, it depends on the type of person you are, because I mean, you have to be uh, patient for going fishing. But it's a nice experience. I and mean, also, uh, that actually, so I think that will be uh, difficult to me because I am left hand. So you're what? It's a left hand, right? Uh, izquierdo. Uh, yeah. The, uh, yep, I am a left hand, so it will be kind of weird. Yeah, so, well, actually, there are, there are fishing poles, fishing poles for left-handed people. Mm -hmm. There so, are fishing poles for left-handed people, and it's nice. It's it's interesting. Oh, but we are uh, also depends on what you wanna fish or where you're gonna fish. Like mm -hmm. fishing on a lake. It's nice at night, but it gets cold as you can even imagine. And but uh, so how it. to say it? Uh, can you ask, can you pescar? Fishing pool. F fishing pool. Okay. So um, let's see. Once once you go to the river, so and and you fish and you're fishing with like I don't know how to say. Ataraya. So oh. have you ever heard that? So that you can go to the river so and, and do that. So like so that you can hunt so fishing so with Ataraya. Yeah, what you are Ataraya, the word the word you are looking is this in English. Uh, it's a cast net. net. Okay, cast net. It's a cast net. Because you actually you the action is to cast. Mm -hmm. Throw in that in that way is to cast. Okay. Uh, well, that's that's difficult. That's yeah, really cool. nice. Yeah, and um, believe me or not, so I on Monday so I went with some friends to do that. So and it's really weird. And it's really uh, nice. So because you so you have to concentrate too and see so. Once you have a lot of fishes, so in order a lot of to fish. cast, a lot of fish, a in lot order of fish. to cast, in order to cast, because they uh, move so fast. So yeah, of course. Yeah, you know, in my case, I can just fish with fishing pole and with harpoon, but uh, with a cast net, no, never done it. But it's really, I mean, really nice. Yeah, the so thing is that you can that try. Gotta, you can try, and you really uh, like it. But so. you have to identify when the fish are passing by. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, and also, uh, basically, so in this time, so basically, with the, that is not uh, like a, a tricky uh, weather. So like there is no raining, so it's night to uh, hunt like, I don't know how to say, let me check it, cangrejo. Crabs. Uh, uh -huh. oh, so, oh, that's that's a whole different story. When you're getting crabs, I mean, you gotta be careful. Yeah. So if you get them, I, if you get them by hand, man, that's dangerous. Yeah, really dangerous. So, because basically you you are not able to uh, uh, suffer that pain. So, but I have I have a lot of friends. So, and also I went with them uh, on Monday. So, and they basically had a lot of crap. Yeah. Oh, 
it's good. Thank you very much for sharing with us. Hey guys, believe it or not, time's almost over. Give me just a second. Okay, let's see, let's see. Thank you very much. Now, 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 now. Well, believe it or not, time's over. So let me get the final attendance. For tomorrow, we are gonna focus on conversation. Actually, we're gonna have a lot of conversation tomorrow, so be ready because you're going to be participating a lot. Uh, Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Amber Eli Alfaro Gómez. Present. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Henry Naftali Mendez Torres. Here I am. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present. Jacqueline Xiomara Morales de Castro. I'm here. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. María Alexandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Rebeca Yasmin Montarrosa Figueroa. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present. Vilman Frank Figueroa Peñata. Present. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. And Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Okay, thank you both of you. Guys, it was an interesting night. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Take care. Bye. 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 See ya. Bye. 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 Let's see. Hi, Hi, teacher. Section three point what? Let me see. Three point seven. Three point seven. Add the question tag to the following statement. You wanna go on holiday, don't you? True. Exactly. Don't you? No question mark. Just don't you. Uh, with a question mark. Yep. Okay. And generally, they don't have question mark tags. Um, none of them. Oh, oh, thank Won't you very much. Doesn't he? Are you checking it yeah. out? I. It's correct. Everything is correct now. I just took the, the question mark. Yeah, oh. yeah. The thing is this, that uh, the, in the instruction, they didn't specify that. Uh -huh. And we usually we usually ask everybody to, to work on the, on the punctuation, right? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, but no problem, no problem. Whenever you got any doubt, just let me know. I'm here to help. Oh, well, thank you, teacher. Have a My good pleasure. time. My pleasure. Same to you. See you tomorrow.
Yeah, tomorrow, teacher. Everybody else is paid for tonight, so we're just going to wait up to the minutes.
Well, let's see. I guess this is it for tonight. Thanks, Seth. See you tomorrow, guys.